Join me as I tackle the challenge of trying to update my DJ crate without losing a single track. So I'm thinking about having a great music library. You get to have everything at a moment's notice. You can grab that song, throw it onto deck A or deck B, and it's magically there. But sometimes it's not. Where did that song go? Well, I'm going to teach you a few methods today. Uh, tips and tricks, but trust me, once it's done, you're never going to lose a single track when you DJ again. Let's start hacking. Over the years, I've accumulated a treasure trove of music, and I think to myself that every time I pull from this music library, it's like diving into your bank. This is your money. This is, this is valuable for DJs. I equate it to every single song being a uh, valuable purchase. And when you're losing a song, you're losing money, and you're losing that opportunity to make even more money as a DJ. You have that critical song at that critical time, and if it's not there, your gig might not be there. There's a story that I have back in Montana when I was doing a wedding. I had one song that was supposed to make or break the wedding, their first dance, and I didn't have it. Thought I had it. I had it on a hard drive back at the office about 30 miles down the road. This was when the internet was just getting going in Montana, and I had I believe either 3G or 4G at the time. And I remember standing on the ledge of a mountain overlooking the Flathead Valley, which had decent cell service in the valley, but not up in the mountains. And I'm holding my laptop with my 4G hotspot, trying to download it from my Dropbox. <laughs> Needless to say, I got the song in time. It took about four minutes for one song to download, but these are critical moments. This is important. So let's save you from ever having to do something like that. The party must go on. Today, I want to introduce to you the three box method. If you've seen my previous videos, I am a big proponent for the one folder trick. That's where if you're good and sharp about your collection, your bank, your money, you're going to keep it in one vault, right? Now there's videos, deep dives, conversations, Q and A's just about the one folder technique, which we won't discuss in this video. I will link it right here if you want to go down that rabbit hole. But today I'm proposing a three box method. Here's how that looks. This is my one folder to rule them all. And I really recommend that you do that. At some point, maybe during the off season, think about one folder to hold everything. Now I know what you're thinking. I have 15 terabytes of tracks. That's fine. There still needs to be one folder that encapsulates it all. If we lose this, we may lose our job. I even have some hardcore music collectors buy a vault, fireproof with a combination and everything, and they stuff their hard drive. It's not a bad idea. I'm considering doing the same. We all should. But here's what I've learned with the one folder technique over the years. Not everything deserves to make it into your collection. You have to think about that one song that I was trying to download off of the mountain back in Montana. I don't even remember what the song was, so there's your first clue. The second box should be those random songs, those disposable tracks. And I'm serious when I tell you that I take extraordinary care of the music that I own. I want it to sound good. I want it to be the best possible version. With Platinum Notes, I can take any song, drag it in. I have configurable templates that allow me to correct the pitch, add some warps. I kind of equate this to pulling out a piece of vinyl and cleaning it with a cloth. And this is one of those things you would do to a digital collection that you would do to a vinyl collection. The same goes with mixed in key. This will take any song you own and give you the proper key, tempo, extra cue points, and its own patented energy scale. But again, this goes back to where uh, you really wanna take care of your collection. Be decisive as to what songs make it into that one folder, which is why I propose the second folder. A folder that you may never use and have a one-year expiration on it. Come back to it in a year. If you don't need any of those songs, consider a strong purge and get rid of them. I will remind you, however, that if you do delete, you will lose those songs, which is the whole point of this video. We're trying not to delete any songs at all. You see the point? The whole point is to have it centrally located, to have your songs never move. You're going to keep this one folder somewhere that your computer is going to talk to. The best way to describe it is your computer is going to make a phone call to your music, right? 
And if it doesn't have the right phone number or that line got disconnected, it cannot access those songs. The folder, the file path, it simply needs to stay where it is. So once you have that one folder locked, don't move it. That is the key to all of this. Whenever you go to a Serato, a virtual DJ, a record box, and you get that red flag, the song's not there, it's because the file path, the line, has been disconnected. That's why I propose the three box method. Let's, let's recap really quick. You've got yourself the one folder, the tried and true classics, the vault. You've got songs that are disposable, tracks you may never play again. The third is brand new songs that you have not tested, but really want to. This one's my favorite. I love this one because, well, I'll show you. My desktop's getting a little crowded right now. Mixed in key, platinum notes behind, record box in front. It's here that I'm allowed to start to build these crates in my DJ software without any harm. But it's above this line that I've taken a folder. And as long as you keep this new folder pruned, if I don't have this cleaned out by the end of the year, I'm not keeping up on it. The high amount of churn in this folder for sure, because that's kind of the battleground, sort of the testing phase to see if perhaps that song's ever going to graduate into that one folder that I know is tried and true. To recap, you've got yourself that one folder, the vault, the classics. Then you've got the disposables, the ones that could be tossed out and never to return again. And then you got that fun box where it's all the new songs, the ones you want to test out in front of the audience, hard line connection between you, the DJ software, and your hard drive. That's how you never lose a track. And that's how you hack. <laughs> I'm Aaron Trailer for The Great Hackers. Uh, any other tips? Am I missing any suggestions? Let's talk below in the comments. Happy hacking.